Oh, Jeff, what have you done? What have you done? Open Viro. The Axe PoE. This. This is an SNMP sensor platform. And I think this is going to be a more popular product than Jeff really realizes. I've been using this for a couple of weeks. It's a beta version, but uh, I get the metal version instead of the 3D printed version, so I must be doing something right, all right? This is a sensor platform for your server closet or your home lab or your basement, in my case. And it has probably changed the trajectory of another project that I had going in terms of how I'm going to monitor it and what's going on with it. So let's, let's take a look at this project. So I'm a beta tester, but Jeff's not paying me anything, but this is gonna seem a little bit like an ad. This is a 10100 ethernet platform for doing temperature monitoring, pressure and humidity monitoring of your server closet. This is, this plus one sensor is 129. It's available on crowd supply from Jeff at Craft Computing. So he has experienced the horrible pain of I'm just going to use the sensor platform in the UPS, which is not that great. Or I'm going to use the power distribution platforms sensors, which is also not that great. A lot of the time air conditioners fail in server closets or water lines or any number of other things. And this is a device that will give you SNMP on your network, simple network management protocol of sensors. This is configured via a serial port. So there's no SSH or anything else exposed on your network. This is also based on a Raspberry Pi 2040. And at the end of their funding campaign, once they hit their funding goals, the source for this is gonna go on GitHub. That's where my side projects enter in. Temperature is great and all, but I've been struggling a little bit with monitoring a sump pump and moisture levels in the basement. So. This is going to be great because SNMP alerts for moisture levels and whether or not the sump pump kicked on and is the sump pump running continuously because sometimes it gets debris in it and then it struggles a little bit and it runs longer than it should. And if it runs longer than it should or continuously, that's something that I'm going to have to deal with. But that's my problem, not yours. I'm just getting you to think creatively about, oh, do I have some problems this thing can solve? Am I willing to get my hands dirty? How does this thing actually work? Uh, the front panel, the rack mount side, has an RJ6 connector, six pin, so that you can connect your another sensor or one of your sensors. USB type C, which can be used as a power input, but really that's a serial terminal, and then two recessed buttons. Well, three buttons total, but one of which is not recessed, and the other two are recessed. On the back, we've got a DCN jack, and our RJ45 ethernet, and another RJ12 jack. So two RJ12 jacks on the front and rear are for the sensors. The 10100 jack is also power over ethernet, but if you want to use external DC input or even USB-C power input, you could do that. The USB-C port though is really meant for a serial connection so that you can configure this thing. It does not expose any surface area on your network other than SNMP. At the time that I'm doing this video, it gives you the output from your sensors via walkable uh, SNMP interface, uh, which is SNMP V1 and V2C, but V3 support is on the way. So I'm not gonna comment on that too much. That's a thing that I wanna revisit and or that's what the forum is for when we discuss where the rubber hits the road at forum.level1text.com. So we can sort of talk about how you're using this and how to deploy it. These sensors connect with a standard RJ12 cable, which is awesome. And the version of the sensors that I have is not final. They're going to have a screw hole for mounting this to the wall if you want, or screwing it in for the rack or whatever. If you want an extra temperature sensor, that's going to cost you an extra 30 bucks, but check all that, all those details out at Crowd Supply. But yeah, overall, that's the promise. It's a simple SNMP platform for sensors. Simple SNMP. That's kind of redundant, is it? SNMP, Simple Network Monitoring Protocol. This is kind of a return to roots. We don't need something overly complicated in order to do this. The THP probes are based on the Bosch BME 280 temperature, humidity, pressure sensor, and the operational range is minus 40 to plus 85C, 100% relative humidity, and 300 to 1100 uh, HPA. The accuracy with these is a half a degree C, and the probe time is uh, very fast. You can get multiple probes per second, which if, you, if you've used any of the other like built-in temperature sensors and built-in sensors that come with a backup power system or a power bar distribution system, you're lucky to get one second probes. And those things are really not all that responsive. It's uh, annoying and silly. The other aspect of this is actually using this for its intended purpose, monitoring a server closet. And 
because we've been getting more servers and doing more server videos and more test projects and working with folks on the forum for their various projects and just chewing up all kinds of electricity, the active cooling in my server closet has been struggling a little bit, even though it's more than five tons of cooling for a small little room, it's not quite enough. At that point, it makes more sense to uh, throw a heat exchanger at it as opposed to a refrigeration system because the climate here is not it's not frigid but most of the time you can dump a lot of the heat outside and then whatever more that you need from that then you're using your refrigeration system to make up the delta not to just to fight wattage with wattage which is the situation that we find ourselves in now and this as a platform for monitoring the cold end of the heat exchanger and the warm end of the heat exchanger and the temperature in the room, this gives me a platform that I can interface with Home Assistant or my own scripts in order to know when I need to turn on and off the heat exchanger because the load in the room varies and sometimes I need the heat exchanger and sometimes not. Sometimes the heat exchanger will do all of the work and so I can automate turning off the active refrigeration and the heat exchanger of course uses way less power, something on the order of 150, 200 watts versus thousands of watts for active cooling, and yet we can still dissipate 15, 20,000 BTU most of the time with just a simple heat exchanger to just dump the heat to the outside. It's pretty great. So this has changed the trajectory of that project because it works so well. I also really, really like, and I, I don't want to underemphasize the fact that there's no SSH on this, and it's Raspberry Pi 2040, so we're talking 16 gigs of flash in terms of like, what is the malware vector for this? Is there a web interface for this? No. And that is probably the right choice because, well, you know, Jeff, craft computing, small operation. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid is a great philosophy and no network surface area. Well, very little network surface area. I suppose something bad could happen with the SNMP protocol and like that might be something to worry about, but there's no SSH, there's no web interface, and that is orders of magnitude less surface area than a simple SNMP interface. Plus also 16 megabytes of flash, like what are you going to do? It's not, it's not, uh, it's not impossible, but does not make an attractive target for hackers. Let me just say that. Uh, now crowd supply. This is not a crowdfunding project. I think Jeff would sort of want me to emphasize that. They're doing it. It's already in progress. It's already more or less ready to go. When they get the funding, then people get all the stuff that they've ordered and blah, blah, blah. And that's happening over the next three-ish months, maybe six months, three, six months, something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Check out the crowd supply place. And then he's going to sell them on his merch store for craft computing. And so you'll be able to buy these at retail. And that's the thing. So $129 for these two things. And if you want an extra sensor, a second sensor, and then that'll run you another 30 bucks. Now you might be wondering what software does it support? Well, it's because it's SNMP. I mean, you know, Observium, Nagios, PRTG, CheckMK, Zabbix, and the Home Assistant are gonna be able to pull information from this right out of the box because SNMP. One thing that I would like to see is daisy chain these things. So a platform like this, let me get like five or six sensors because I don't want just temperature sensors. I also want uh, passive ammeters and um, uh, moisture sensors to know if something is getting wet or if water is backing up or did the you know is there is the water over the critical line in the uh, in the sump well things like that and I can build those sensors myself that's no problem especially if it's an open source project and I can build the software interface for that and then open source that and that can be another fun thing that can live on their github and whatever other sensors people might want to build, which is great. I'm gonna build my own passive amperage sensors that go right in the distribution panel. Uh, the National Electric Code would like a word. No, maybe don't do that. But you can do passive clamp. There are passive clamp on sensors where you just wrap a wire and you can passively monitor the current that passes through that with sensor. And that's a nice, safe way to do that. Not in the electrical panel, but it's a nice, fun, safe way to do that. And yeah, exposing those sensors via simple network management protocol. It's great, it's brilliant. That's what I like about this idea, is it's simple, it's direct, it's to the point, and also, so far, very well executed. So, it's very nice to see that. This has been a quick look at uh, OpenViro, AxPoE, OpenViro. It's like, environment, environment, OpenViroment, OpenViro. I'm Wittle this level one. If you have any questions or I miss anything or you want me to do something to help you take this for a spin or answer questions or whatever, I don't know, hit me up in the forum or Ask Jeff questions at Crowd Supply. I'm signing out and I'll see you in the Level 1 forums.